What is going on guys, I'm Jack and I'm Ollie and welcome back to Project Race Car and today we are finally getting the turbo on the R34 um, but before we get on to that we've had a new parts delivery so let's uh, let's check out what we've got so the Tome Extreme oh, yeah. has finally arrived yeah. uh, if you um, if you saw our last video um, you, you will see that we, uh, we, well, we pulled off the stock elbow and uh, realised it was just awful right mm. so um, I bit the bullet and decided to do it properly and buy a Tomei Extreme uh, turbo elbow which hopefully you can see there and um, we'll have a proper look in a second you can just see there like how how much fatter it is like if you click back to last like last week's video the other one literally just goes flat where the wastegate is um but yeah. you can see how much better that this is going to flow so yeah it's going to be awesome Definitely it looks lovely it. as well the welding on it is just fantastic it's like world porn it it's is like, it's really cool i wonder if the camera will pick it up probably not there we go. it's really good so yeah yeah we'll show you a comparison guys on the screen of what um of the, of the old one versus I'll get the, the other one out of the box in a minute and we'll do what, yeah, yeah exactly um also guys we're um we're testing out 4k today and um, which we mentioned in the in last week's video or previous r34 video that is yeah. um so if you've got 4k tv or screen or whatever let us know what the uh we think the quality is like if it's any better um because we're trying it out and we're not sure what it's going to come out like we've got both the elbows uh, and we're just going to do a quick little comparison so uh, obviously as you can you probably would be able to tell but on the right we have the stock rb25 uh, elbow and on the left we have the the tomei extreme so there's i couldn't get the heat shield off so you can't really like see much but if you look at the actual difference that's where the difference is is where the sensor is um, and if you look at the sides um, that's where you can see how much better the flow is on the tomei because of I mean that is just terrible. I have no idea why. Maybe Nissan did that to limit the power, um, but it's just pretty ridiculous compared to the Tomei. I mean, and that's pretty much self-explanatory how much better that's yeah, going to flow. Just so. You can see inside. I don't think you can see. Yeah. If the camera's going to pick it up, like that's. But it's literally, it's literally just a flat wall straight yeah, out, straight on the wastegate. So. I do wonder if it was to limit power, like you said, like us. Usually, that's why manufacturers do stuff like that, is mm. to limit factory power output. Mm. So guys, we're just looking to mount the new turbo in the bay. Um, we're just working out whether we need the spacer or not, and it looks like that we do. So if I point the camera down here, Ollie can demonstrate why we need it place the turbo on its studs it doesn't look like it looks like everything's going to clear but then you realize how close the compressor cover outlet is to the exhaust yeah. manifold and we've got to get silicon on there so and that's not great in um, terms of heat either so yeah so man will provide this space it will come with a kit guys so it's um it's really handy actually uh and yeah so we're just going to shove that on and then uh, fingers crossed it should all clear and this keeps leaking it's very annoying um <laughs> and it should clear and then uh, we should be good to go so, so guys, we ended up pulling the turbo back off um, because we needed to, to clock it, right? So the way that it was set up out of the box was the, the center section of the, like the actual core of the turbo um, was like rotated like 45 degrees off of center so mm. that the um, oil drain back to the sump wouldn't, uh, wouldn't bolt onto the yeah. actual core. So to, to loosen that on this Mamba, uh, there's quite a, few, quite a few aftermarket turbos are the same, you just loosen loosen the bolts around the circumference of the um, compressor cover and also loosen the bolts on the circumference of the uh, the, the turbine uh, exhaust housing uh, yeah. and then once you hold it all you can rotate the core completely separate from the rest of the turbo and that means you can position it where you need it to be um, and get the oil feed in the right place get the coolant feeds and drains in the right place and also get the oil the oil drain in the right place as well and just one thing we did want to mention if anybody goes to buy a Tomei, um, you'll probably have to end up putting a bolt in this one here because there's not enough clearance to use a stud and a nut. Yeah. So that's just one thing I did want to point out. Yeah, because we use the Mamba uh, hardware. Hardware, didn't we, to mount that? Because they supply these nice studs and it'd be silly not to use them. So yeah. we used all of the ones that we could and it was a bit tight on that last bolt. So yeah. But now what we've got to do is take this entire setup and uh, throw it back on the manifold um, and then clock the core so that it's in uh, it's in the right sort of alignment um, and then what we'll do is we'll tighten two of these bolts that we can easily access 
um, and then that will hold it all together and then we'll take the turbo off again uh, and tighten the rest of them down so that they're all nice and tight because they weren't that tight from factory so yeah, let's, let's get on with it. Let's go. The turbo's all sat straight, so if you come in a minute, Jack, you can see that the, the oil feed line, which should go in the top of the turbo, is directly pointing upwards, which is where we want it to be. Uh, the coolant are on either side, and for the oil feed uh, is now straight underneath. And also this actuator bar is straight. That's a, a, a crucial thing. Yeah. And actually, we, it's looking like we can actually get away without running the spacer. Yeah, we didn't actually run the spacer. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Just by clocking it, there's a... The annoying thing is, is that Mamba, whilst we were praising them in the last video about how how all-inclusive the kit is. And it is, it's a, it's a great kit and it comes with pretty much everything you need. However, they need to include longer manifold studs. Um, to replace the standard studs in the RB25 log manifold because uh, the, ma the, the studs that they include are the same length as the standard studs and if you're intending to use the spacer uh, they're too short so what we're doing is by clocking it all and moving it around we can get away without using a spacer uh, and just put some heat protecting uh, protection around the, um, uh, the silicon hose connector um, but they should definitely include some longer studs other than that, Mamba, good job. <laughs> so yeah, we're yeah, just going to... The silicon's going to go on the... Uh, come out here, isn't it? That'll so be, uh, obviously your, your, your standard compressor housing has a bolt-on section here that, it, that angles a 90 so that then the upper intercooler hose can go straight on. Um, whereas this, you have to replace that with a 90-degree um, a silicon piece. So it doesn't really matter, uh, but it's just one of those other things you need to consider yeah. when buying this kit. So. We're just going to get it off so we can tighten all of those nuts up, like we said, all those bolts up, like we said in the previous clip, and uh, actually bolt this thing on for, for good. Yeah. Okay, so the turbo is all clocked and everything is all set up. It's all tightened down and everything is orientated exactly where it needs to be. Yeah. There's a few different things like running the coolant lines, and I don't know if any of you guys have ever run a coolant line around the back of the head. Uh, on an RB25, but it is, um, I'm told, it's a, it's a nightmare of a job and it's an intake manifold off, um, yeah. which we leads us on to the next episode yeah. stuff anyway, because we've got to fit the injectors and things. So exactly. that being said, uh, that's all of this sort of stuff done. So we're gonna move on to next episode, which we will see your fueling side of things, won't we? Yeah, um, exactly. So we've got some um, R35 injectors to go on. Uh, we've I'm gonna got... put this down because it's heavy. Yeah, so is this bloody camera, it weighs a ton. <laughs> Yes, so. Yeah, so we've got some R35 injectors to go on. We've got uh, some Superformer coil packs, which you would have seen in the last video. And we've also got a Warbro 450. To drop in the tank. Yeah. To drop in the tank. So. Um, which is obviously going to be sort of fueling and ignition side for everything that we need for this stage of the build. So. And the injectors are under the intake manifold, and we've got to take the intake manifold off, like we said, to do the coolant line. Yeah. So it only so, makes sense to do it whilst we're in there. So. Exactly. So we're going to wrap the video up here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button down below. It helps us out a bunch. And if you like the content, hit the subscribe button as well. Have a browse uh, through the channel. To be notified we've got more. more like it. Yep. Uh, if you're new as well, Ollie's got an Evo 5, he's got a whole build on that, so make sure you check that out as well. Hit the bell as well, because then you'll stay notified. Exactly. All that jazz. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you again soon. Goodbye. Bye. Um, but f you're such a dick. <laughs> Hopefully you guys notice it, and it is actually noticeable. Yeah. <laughs> Tunnelly. So, so we will see you in the next one when we do your fueling things. So yeah, do that again. That was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see you. We'll see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I know it's yeah, been a long day. Next episode, we will be doing. <laughs> I was trying to lead into you going. Yeah. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button as well. If you want to see more. Uh, so yeah, that's that's going to wrap it up. I can't. I'm you sorry. Can. Retake.